Hey what's up guys it's Dover here welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about an interesting and good plugin called warps so to get started you're going to go to this link I'm going to leave it below in the description you'll click on download and click on this drop down icon and download it so it's going to give you a zip file you can extract it but I'm just going to open it from here you have the libraries which you should install them if you don't have them already and the plugin itself so let's copy that plugin and you'll open your server I already opened mine you'll go to rocket plugins and paste it inside but I already have mine pasted over here and once you paste it you're going to start up your server okay guys so now my server is up so you'll go to server and your server warp folder and config I'm going to be using notepad++ to edit this config okay so whenever you open this is the default thing that you should see and the economy enable it basically allows you to turn on economy because that plugin requires economy because you can charge a player for warping to any warp so if you don't want that option you have to turn on the economy so you have the warp charge enable but for some reason it, it's here charge I guess but whatever it's warp charge enable so if you set it to true it's going to charge a player whenever he warps and you can set the amount so let's go with 100 for example and you have the warp other charge enable so as an admin or mod or anyone who has permission you can warp a player to a specific warp so you can teleport a player to warp spawn for example if you have a spawn and this also uh, this also you can make it for some money if you want to and this is the set warp charge enable so whenever a player sets a warp he has to pay some money if you want it you can make it by setting it to true so I'm going to leave it on force and this is the delete warp charge enable <coughs> it basically uh, allows the player to delete a warp and you can set the amount over here and also a quick note if you turn on economy to false all of the following lines these lines will basically be turned off as well okay so we have the enable weight groups so it basically allows the player to wait before he warps if you set it to true he's gonna have to wait if, if you leave them false uh, he can teleport instantly and this is the enable movement restriction if you set it to false the player could move freely if you set it to true the player is going to be restricted in his position and he cannot move so here are the weight groups <coughs> which basically have a cooldown before teleporting and the way you choose a group is basically from your permission.config so here I have VIP group I can add it for example let's add a new line okay and you'll go to VIP copy and paste it and you can set a warp time let's make it on zero so we've now removed the cooldown and yeah that's basically it for the config let's talk about permissions quickly so you have a couple of permissions which are basic hopefully you have the let me add some lines so you have the warp I'm going to leave the permissions in the description by the way guys it allows a player to warp to any warp so and also you have the warp dot other which allows for example as I said an admin to warp a player to a specific warp and you have the warp charge dot override so this basically doesn't charge whoever uses slash warp and you have the set warp to set a specific warp and del warp to delete a warp and slash warps to check the list of warps in game and yeah that's it for the config and permissions let's move in game okay guys so now i'm in game so let's try out our permissions let's start off by making a warp let's call it hello Oh, I forgot to give myself permissions. Give me a second. And okay. So let's set a warp quickly. Let's name it hello. Let's warp to hello. Okay. So 
Oh, come on, zombie. And you also have the you have the ability to warp other players since I'm an admin. You can type in here the warp warp name, which is hello, and the player name. If you try to type in a player who does not exist, so it says error can't find a player. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. And by the way, don't forget the slash del warp to delete a warp. That's it for this video. I hope you've made it to the end and I'll see you in the next one.